Wait for it. I'm ready. Well, that escalated quickly. What are we talking about? We're talking about exponential functions. In 2012, the population of a city was 5.84 million. The exponential growth rate was 3.39 per year. Now, what do we want over here? We want to find the exponential function. That's it. Yeah, where, what? It's in this form. That's how they are. That's the initial value. That's the growth rate, or decay, I decay. And that's the time, T, usually in years. Here we find here that our f of x, what was our initial population look like? It was 5.84 million, and then that's e to the r. Now, our growth rate was 3.39%. How do you write that as a decimal? Move it to, oh, so then that's how we get 0.0, because .0, I go, I go, one, two, I fill it in, put a dot, all right. So then I write 3.39T. Can you see? Yeah, and there you go. That right there, Pull it, put it in a small purse. It's gonna be clutch. To the next question. What's the next question? Over here in B, what are we trying to do? We're estimating the population of the city in 2018. Now that T over there is times in years. What do we have? We're starting at 12 and we're trying to get to 18. So you can do two, zero, one, eight, minus two, zero, one, two, wait. You can count them down. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So yeah, six. Here our T is gonna be six. T is six. Then we plug it in there into our clutch. This is gonna be F of six. F of six, that's five point eight for e to the 0 0.0339 times 6. And then when we pound all that out, boom, you put it in your, well, calculator, sure. So upon computation, you go and you get 7.2. What's that? That's million. <laughs> Yeah, why? Because what? We put in time in years and we get out what? We get out population size in millions. So, looks like 7.2 million. Now, boom. When will the population be? You can't see that. We go over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So, when will the population in the city be 8 million? Now, what are they giving you? They're, are they giving you a time? Or are they giving you a population? In this exponential function, we put in time, we get out population. They give us a population, so we're gonna put it on the out. Yeah, so on the outside, we have eight million. That's gonna be equal to 5.84 e to the 0 0.0339t. Now what are we? We divide by that, then we naturally log it, then we divide by that, and we find that our t. <laughs> I'll put the link of that in the description below, and maybe it appears here on some annotation. So t turns out to be 9.3. What are the units on that? Years! Yeah. Man, this is a brand new marker. I don't know why it's acting up. That's a little better. A box and flower. Okay, come on now. Over here. Woo! Wee! We want to find the doubling time. Oh, doubling what? What do they mean? We're talking about it was at 5.84 and we want twice that. Whatever it was, we can go and we can put that. We can do, we can do huh, twice that. We can do two times 5.84. Is that going to be equal to? I can't even deal with this. Why does that even have a wipe top? Um, 5.4. Uh, eight, four, e to the 
0.039 T. Whoa! And then we can go and we can solve for T, or we can do it in generally. What are we talking about? If we had two times A, what am I using? I'm using that general form over there, whatever A was, E to the R T. Uh-huh, but we knew our R, so, 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 we divide both sides by, I need another marker. There's that white one, it doesn't have a top. So then, oh, A, A. Okay, uh, 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 uh. So then we're looking at two is equal to e to the rt. Then we naturally log it. That's the natural log of two. That's the natural log of e to the rt. So then these guys, ah, whoa, they don't really do that, but that's the, the natural log of two. That's equal to rt. We're looking for the doubling time, so we're gonna divide by r. I'm gonna take it right here, put it in a different color. So we have, we have, we have the natural log of two divided by the growth rate. That's gonna be t. So what do we do? We go and we substitute our R in there. Okay, we're giving you another shot, yellow. So now we're looking at the natural log of two divided by, don't blow it, don't blow it. That's zero point, wait for it, oh, three, nine. That's gonna be T. And what does that turn out to be? Ooh, looks like T is gonna be, um, 20.4 years that's not how you spell years years is that even how you spell doubling don't i drop the e <sighs> box and flower